Well, welcome to this uh, weekly live Hope and Healing. Tonight it's a very special night because I have a very great guest. Uh, he's a dad, he's a spiritual dad for me, but also is a wonderful friend and I'm sure you're going to love him. Uh, I want to welcome all of you who are watching from around the world. I see already many people who are watching. Please be sure to share where you are watching from. It will bless us. We love the nations of the world. And tonight we expect that God will touch you in a powerful way. But before uh, I will introduce this wonderful guest, I would love to invite you to go with us to worship our wonderful Lord. Uh, many people say, well, but today, where can we find hope? I have a good news, and that's the purpose of this life. There is hope in God. And tonight, you will find back, or you will find this wonderful God is going to touch you. If you are sick, he's going to heal you in a wonderful way. Actually, uh, when I started today, uh, the day to walk, I started very early. God spoke to me so clearly. And I want to share this wonderful uh, word of God coming from Romans eleven thirty six that say, For everything comes from him and exists by his power and is intended for his glory. All glory to him forever. Amen. So I do believe that tonight his power is going to touch you for his glory. That's for Holy Spirit. I welcome you on this show. Touch the people from around the world. Manifest yourself. Holy Spirit, reveal Jesus to all the viewers tonight and during the next days as Jesus, the only way, the only truth, and the only life that can save, heal, deliver, and bless in the name of Jesus. So let's go tonight just with this wonderful song from uh, the live worship called Miracles, uh, written my, by my very good friend, Chris Kilala. God bless you. The one who made the blind to see is moving here in front of me. Moving here in front of me The one who made the deaf to hear Is silencing my every fear Silencing my every Come on, sing it out I believe in you
risen one The God who brings the dead things into life He's the God of miracles The God of miracles Welcome to all of you who just joined it to this live weekly hope and healing. It's not a religious religious show. We are not going to talk about a church or denomination, but we are going to talk about this wonderful God that loves you and is willing to touch you, but not only willing to save you, also willing to heal you tonight. So it's wonderful to have you with us tonight. I want to welcome, before I introduce the guest speaker of tonight, I want to welcome all of you who are watching from around the world. Uh, I see many people, of course, from Switzerland. So welcome my Swiss friends, uh, Muke from Joburg in South Africa, Pascal from Rhone. Uh, welcome uh, Tineke from the Netherlands, uh, Valentin from Hudson, that's wonderful. Uh, Sophie from Quebec in Canada, welcome to the Canadian friends. Uh, these days, I was pe pre really praying from Canada for Canada. I have a burden for this country. I don't know why, but uh, the Lord is with you, my Canadian French friends. Uh, Immaculate from Rwanda, Monica from Germany, uh, many people from the Netherlands. We are so happy to have you. Welcome, Daniela from Romania and uh, France. Many people from France, Ursula from Paris, Spain. Oh, fantastic. Welcome, Rita, from Hungary. Uh, that's wonderful to see all of you coming from different places. Uh, also, some people from the U.S. We love the American people. So welcome, Amy, from Indiana. Uh, praise the Lord. Again, so many people from Switzerland, also from Africa, Gabon and Benin, uh, Maya, France, uh, Latvia. Fantastic. Well, Welcome to all of you. For those who are speaking French, pour ceux qui parlent français, demain soir, ne manquez pas la soirée euh, mensuelle miracle et guérison. Nous serons avec Monseigneur Ray Dominique Ray et d'autres invités surprises. Ça sera juste extraordinaire. Donc, ne manquez pas demain soir sur YouTube ou Facebook en live et vous pouvez trouver toutes les informations sur les réseaux sociaux. Sorry, my friends, I just say that, share that because few people were asking why you don't speak uh, French tonight. It is the English show. I see people from Lebanon, South, uh, from Malawi, uh, well, from many countries tonight, and that's beautiful. Tonight, it's my very good privilege to introduce a wonderful dad, but also a great friend. 
Uh, let me read just the bio that my people prepared the office. Um, and I want to say a big thanks to all of them. They are doing such a great job because uh, we are able now to reach probably more people. That's so strange. I was traveling a lot and we were doing big meetings. Uh, but today behind this camera, we can reach so many nations and people. So tonight, I'm sure you are going to be blessed. Tonight, I will introduce Bill, who is the fifth generation pastor with a rich heritage in the Holy Spirit. He and Benny have been pastors of Bethel Church since 1996 with a one word mission statement, a revival. And I love that because we are going to see revival. For sure, this pandemic will not stop God's move. Bill's priority in life has been to learn how to host the presence of God and minister to him. Bill is passionate about seeing the kingdom of heaven invade earth across all spheres of influence. The wisdom of God is to be displayed through the church, government, education, and the arts. Bill travels extensively to share what he has learned through his experience with the conviction that the only way to increase that has been given is to give it away. And that's fantastic. It's my great joy and privilege to introduce my very good friend, Pastor Bill Johnson. Oh, thank you so much, Jean-Luc. It's wonderful to be with you. Uh, I'm so thankful for the chance, and I love your friendship. I love your family, and and uh, just it's such a such a thrill, a joy to always be with you in any way I can. It's better in person, but at least uh, we get to do the this this call on YouTube. I'm thankful. Bless you. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a huge honor. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, I said that many times, but Bill really is a a spiritual dad and uh, probably um, most of the things that we are doing today it's because of this man of God he really impact my life the life of my family and tonight uh, I'm sure you are going to be impacted by his life uh, Bill uh, of course we are expecting to see you face to face as soon as possible and anytime you are welcome in Switzerland even if there is not stadium meeting uh, <laughs> Uh, but it's going to come very soon. Uh, I have a question. Um, this year, 2020, and this last month were challenging. Uh, in this season, where you... It's a very honest question. You don't need to answer if you don't want. <laughs> but uh, I see so many people writing from around the, uh, around the world, and uh, there is actually an explosion of needs. We have never seen that. Uh, and so much desperate, uh, desperate people. And that's my question. You are a man of God. You are so close to the Lord. But were you during this season sometimes a bit desperate? Oh, yes. Goodness, yes. Um, it's the most unusual season of my life. Um, it was also very, very productive. It, uh, there's a lot of good fruit from the season. Um, the Lord, uh, I don't believe he causes pandemics and diseases and things of that nature. It, it violates the nature of Jesus that we see in scripture. But I do know that he's big enough to use it. And so I've, I've got to be careful on how I view a difficult moment that I'm in. And 2020 was challenging for just about everybody I know. And I, I don't want to pretend otherwise. But uh, in, in the 23rd Psalm, it says he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Mm. He prepares a table. What is that? The table is for nourishment. The table is for fellowship. So God puts the place of deepest intimacy and strength for us in the middle of of moments when we are surrounded by enemies, enemies of accusation, enemies of discouragement, worry, anxiety, fear, affliction, all that stuff. He puts the table in the middle, and I have a choice. I can either keep my attention on all the problems that surround me, or I can rediscover the presence of the Lord that is in the middle of that challenge, in the middle of that difficulty. And uh, there's none of this caught him by surprise. He has an answer for every single problem 
that exists on the earth. It doesn't matter if it's a political or economic or environmental problem, or it's a relational problem. He has the answer in his mind right now and is very generous and willing to share with us. So our responsibility is to look to him and to trust him and to anticipate with great hope that he will turn the challenging situations that we've had in this last year, he will turn them for his glory and for our strength. And to believe anything less is, to me, is a, is a, is a shame in a sense. It's, it's, it doesn't match his nature for me to believe anything less. I need, to, I need to turn to his history with mankind, his history with me, with us. I need to look to the word of God, the scripture, and find that he is a God of incredible hope in every situation. So I owe him a hope-filled life. I owe it to him. And it needs to be seen in my speech, in my words. Um, and I owe it to the people around me that I live a hope-filled life. Uh, because if I don't, see, both hope and hopelessness are contagious. Both hope and hopelessness are contagious. So what do I want people to catch from me? I want them to catch hope, but I have to have it first. So uh, that's my approach. I'm, I'm very careful about how I talk about last year and uh, and very uh, hope-filled in the most difficult situations that I face. Wow, so wonderful. I will have to review my language and my thinking. <laughs> So thanks so much to help us to go to the right track. Uh, Bill, before we go further, uh, would you agree to pray for all those who have been um, touched, I mean, in a bad way? Some, they have been devastated. Uh, I've seen also already on the chat, uh, some people, they have been like uh, divided in their relation, even some family, they have been divided. And so many people get hurt, they lost their job. Would you agree to release absolutely. this presence and whatever that you feel to release? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> when we look in Scripture, we find that God is the vindicator and he is the restorer. It says when Job prayed for his friends in Job 42, when Job prayed for his friends, God restored to him double of everything he lost. So God always has the last say in any devastation that anyone has experienced. God is positioned in his nature to vindicate and to restore more than what was lost. And so this is where our hope is. It's in the word of God, which is the nature of God. And so that, that's what I want to pray. So, Father, I ask that you bring each person into a place of wonderful peace, uh, that, that peace that only comes because we trust you. You are the one worthy of our trust, worthy of our absolute trust. And I'm asking that out of that place of peace, that you would restore everything that's been stolen, whether it's jobs, money, health, or relationships, it doesn't matter what it is. We just look to you, Father. Vindicate, even where we've made stupid mistakes, that you would forgive us and heal us and even vindicate us in those situations to where you receive the glory through our surrendered life. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks so much for this prayer. For those yep. who just joined, welcome to this live Hope and Healing. It's a weekly show where every week I have a special guest. And tonight I'm with my very good friend, Pastor Bill Johnson from Redding, California. Bill, you are talking about this God. And actually, there is many people who are watching tonight. Uh, they are not necessarily Christian. Some, they are even Muslim, Buddhist, or uh, they are atheists. Uh, you, you know this real God. First, why is the real God? And secondly, who is this God? His name is Jesus. Jesus is God. And he illustrates the nature of God. He illustrates the covenant of God. He... I've been waking up at night in, in recent uh, weeks quoting the scripture. I'd wake up and quote the scripture, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him, they would not perish, but they would have everlasting life. 
Jesus isn't one of many ways to God. If that were true, then what was required of Jesus to suffer and die was an absolute shame. It was an injustice. But it was he suffered and in our place, in a sense, because it was the only solution. It was the only answer. It was the only possible way to come to the Father. And Jesus gave his life because of your importance, because of my importance to him. He was willing to take upon himself what I deserve, what you deserve, because of our sinfulness, our selfishness, our self-centeredness, our, our, our uh, uh, unwillingness to yield to God completely. He died in our place to take what I deserved so that we could receive what he deserved. It's an absolute gift of God. It's a gift of grace. And it's, it's called salvation. It heals us on the inside and the outside. It puts us into a relationship with God. And this is a relational journey. It's not a, a one-time quick fix. It's, a, it's the fact that I get introduced to this person that I get to follow. I get to talk with him. He talks with me. I get to walk with him. He walks with me. It's a lifetime engagement with God himself who has chosen to delight in me and in you. And I, I just think this is a wonderful opportunity for people to discover the love of God for themselves and literally to be adopted or brought into the family of God. It's not through works that we do. It's through surrender. It's through acknowledging Jesus is the Lord of all, and I surrender to him. And uh, that's the journey I've been on. And uh, I know Jean-Luc, it's the same for him and some others. It's the great privilege that God has given us to walk in a relationship with him. And I encourage everyone, just say yes to Jesus. Thanks so much. That's wonderful. For those who just joined, you are on the live weekly hope and healing. And we are just talking about this wonderful Jesus who wants to save you tonight. That's the purpose of this live stream. Uh, we are not talking about a religion or denomination. We are talking about Jesus, who, like Bill said, who loves you so much and is willing to save you right now. If you want to surrender your life to him, you want to give your life and to ask him to come to your life and you are ready to repent of your sin, I'm sure Pastor Bill will agree to pray a prayer of salvation that you can experience this best, this greatest miracle called to be born again. Bill, would you agree to help those who are watching to experience that? Yes, of course. I, let me lead. Let me lead you in a prayer. Now, I'm going to ask you just in your home or wherever you're watching, your car or whatever, just repeat these words. But understand, they're not magical words. They have to represent what's in your heart, because the faith that we put in Him actually comes from our heart is the place of deep, deep surrender. So just pray this prayer with me. Uh, Father, Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, and I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I acknowledge to you that I am a sinner. I acknowledge to you that I can't save myself. I acknowledge to you that I am completely dependent upon Jesus for my salvation. So please save me. Please forgive me of all sin. And I turn from them. I turn from every false God. I turn from them. And I put my trust entirely in the goodness of God. I put my trust entirely in this person, Jesus Christ. And I say yes to the invitation to follow you all the days of my life. Show me what it is to be a disciple of Jesus. Show me what it is to be a child of God. And I thank you. I thank you that your promises are true. I thank you that you cannot lie and that you receive me into your family. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 If you've done this prayer, we release over you now the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit that you can experience this greatest miracle call to be born again, to become a son of God, a daughter of God. 
in the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Receive his peace, his joy, this abundant eternal life in Jesus' name. Be forgiven from all the sins you have done as you've repented in the name of Jesus. And we take authority over every demonic spirit, darkness with upon your life. I set you free in Jesus' name that you can live a free life for Jesus from now and from ever in Jesus' name. If you've done this prayer, I invite you to go to our website to know Jesus and we will help you to go further because it's the first step. It's so important that you can read the Bible. Actually, it's so easy today. You can just download it for free. Uh, it's uh, the software bible.com. You can do it. Also, uh, there is the things uh, like it's a training. I don't like to use it this way, but it's very, very simple way, practical way, how you can walk with Jesus. Uh, and it's called Alpha Course. It's done by different uh, churches, the Anglican, the Catholic, the Protestant, the Evangelical churches. They came together not to promote their own church, uh, but really to help you to walk with Jesus. Uh, so go to Alpha Course. You can find all the information. It's worldwide and you will be abundantly blessed. And for sure, God is alive. So talk to him. He is going to talk to you and uh, find a local church. If you don't know a local church because you are maybe in a, a lockdown or semi-lockdown like here in Switzerland, go to Battle TV. It's one of the best. Is the place where I'm following. I have my own local church, but almost every Sunday I just listening Battle TV. It's such a blessing, wonderful song, worship, and great teaching coming as like for uh, from my very good friend Pastor Bill. Thanks so much, Bill, for this prayer. It was wonderful. Now we are willing to go to pray for the sick. Uh, uh, because it's we are already in half of the time and we are not going to do too long tonight. I just see French people who are a little bit mad because we don't speak French. So let me tell them in French. Pour les amis francophones qui sont là, qui sont pas contents qu'on parle en anglais, on est désolé, c'est vrai que le monde entier ne parle pas le français et c'est pour ceci que j'ai plusieurs émissions en français ou en anglais. Cet après-midi, j'étais en français. Vous pouvez revoir ceci sur ma chaîne YouTube ou demain soir, entre autres, j'ai une soirée miracle et guérison que en français avec Monseigneur Dominique Ray, Carlos Payan et des invités surprises. Donc, n'hésitez pas à regarder le programme sur les réseaux sociaux ou sur Internet. Profitez de vous inscrire sur le site Internet. Sorry for those who are not speaking French, but I see many texts coming from the French countries who are a bit sad that they cannot hear Bill in French. <laughs> so now we are going to pray for the sick. Uh, also, just before we pray for the sick, uh, Lord spoke to me so clearly that I have to write. I'm not a writer. Actually, Bill, give me a pen, a, a, a beautiful pen, to write, and through that I wrote my first book. But uh, every week now I'm writing a weekly hope inspiration, a new revelation. It's not all things, fresh revelation that every week I receive from the Lord that will boost you, not only for your religious life, but you for your daily life as a dad, a mom, or a businessman. I'm sure you are going to be blessed. Always there is a song with it connected to the teaching of the revelation, a healing testimony, and a prayer. So be sure to subscribe to JeanLucTraxel.org. Bill, so many people are expecting healings today. Why do you believe that God is still the healer today? Well, uh, Jesus illustrated the nature of the Father by healing everyone who came to him and everyone the Father directed him to. And the Bible says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he doesn't change. And uh, because he doesn't change, he's as much a healer today as he was 2,000 years ago. And we have to adjust our expectations. We have to adjust our activities, our obedience, our, our acts of faith. They need to be consistent with who he is. It's, it's our actions or words, so to speak, that give place for him to come and do what only he can do. Hmm. 
And tonight, as so many people are already writing, and by the way, I invite you to write on the chat precisely what you are expecting from the Lord. But Bill, could you help the people who are sick? Some they are waiting since a long time. How can they expect and receive their healings tonight? Well, obviously, the first thing is to ask the Father. Um, this is a little hard to do online, but let me just encourage you. Many people ask and pray, but they don't ask believing God will do anything. They ask to feel good about having prayed. And it's important that when we pray for something, the best we know how, we position ourselves to expect him to do what he said he would do. Uh, there's so many ways to pray, but it's just very simple. Uh, some of you suffer with migraine headaches. And, uh, and for you just to be able to say to the Lord right now, God, I surrender my migraine headaches to you. I know that Jesus, uh, Jesus paid a price so that migraine headaches would not control my life. There are people watching that have uh, various kinds of cancer. And I just declare in Jesus' name that cancer dissolves in the presence of God. And I declare just that word that the Spirit of God would literally rest upon you like a blanket. He would come in power and presence upon you. And that those tumors uh, would dissolve. The, the, uh, the infection of cancer in blood, that it would be driven from your body in the wonderful name of Jesus. We just declared that healing word over the pancreas, uh, that healing word both with cancer and other issues. Uh, Jesus is healing people's bodies. It's what he does. So what we do is we simply ask him, and then we look for him to do what he, what he said he would do. And uh, it's, it's not complicated. It's very simple, but it's important that we expect what we ask for. Uh, because he is that good. He is that good. Amen and amen. Again, for those who just join or just jump here accidentally, I want to tell you, you are to the life, hope and healing. We are not speaking about a religion or denomination. We are just speaking about this wonderful Jesus where he is hope, but also he is healing. And that's the reason now we are going to pray for the sick, so be sure to uh, write what you're expecting. Also, uh, tonight, I will not be able to read everything. So be sure to write, but our team will read it, and we are going to pray. Also, if you write to our office or to the website, uh, every prayer request, we read it, we pray it individually, and we will answer you. Even if you write to you give your physical address, because today we can no more meet physically, but one thing that we can do is what the Apostle Paul did. He was just putting the cloth, uh, and that's what we do. Uh, we are going to send you a prayer cloth where we pray on it, and the power of God will touch you. So many healings through this way. But tonight, it's going to be powerful because we are going to release the word of healing, and we have seen a major breakthrough. And before we pray, let me just read two testimonies. Uh, every week I'm doing this live and Bill can say the same. We're seeing so many healings and miracles. Uh, uh, personally, it's almost every day. And uh, I try to put uh, at least three testimonies on my social media. Yesterday, so it's just fresh. I just wrote that. I just put it the testimony that the people wrote. And by the way, thanks so much to all of you who give God's glory, because sharing the testimony is giving back the credit to the one who is the healer. So please write when God touched you. I had a malignant brain tumor causing terrible headaches with regular blackouts. As the doctor could not operate on me, the situation was getting worse every day. I heard about IHM and asked for the prayer of healing. A heat invaded my brain like a hot oil, and instantly all pain was gone. I asked for an appointment with my doctor after the scans and the MRI and various medical tests. 
they no longer saw and found the tumor which miraculously disappeared. I'm healed and healthy. Thank you, Jesus. That's a miracle and it can happen for you tonight. Uh, let me read the another one. There is many others. You can just read it, but uh, I want just to share that with you because it will bring faith to you. Last night, uh, the parents of Florian, 36 years old, asked for prayer to our prayer line. By the way, you can call us or have a Zoom or just like now tonight having this, uh, this life, hope and healing. So when they uh, went, sorry, uh, asked for prayer for their son who was dying in the hospital. When they went to the hospital to see their son, thinking that he had died during the night, uh, what was their surprise as he was no longer in the intensive care? He was in the room totally healed. All the tests were normal. The kidneys had resumed resume resume sorry their function the brain which was poorly irrigated had returned to normal and all this without any after effects the doctor don't understand thinking that he was going to die and that even if he recovered he would be a vegetable they say it's a miracle florian came out of the hospital and is in great shape that's a wonderful testimony, and the Lord is willing to do that for you. Bill, would you agree to start to pray for the sick? And I will follow, and together we will just go after this sickness and disease, believing that God is going yes. to touch tonight. Yes, I sure, sure will. Uh, I would encourage everyone who needs a miracle just to pray a very simple prayer. The Bible describes... Uh, this that Jesus experienced when he was beaten with uh, whips. And it says, by his stripes, we are healed. So he experienced something that almost in a sense purchased or made possible the healing of your body and mind. So one of the things that we encourage people to do is just take a moment where close your eyes or uh, however you want to do it, but just pray a very simple prayer. Say this, I receive the healing that Jesus bought for me. And then you just wait a moment. I receive the healing that Jesus bought for me. And I just declare that healing word right now in Jesus' name. So many uh, suffer with skin di disorders, diseases, <clears throat> eczema, psoriasis, different things. We declare that healing word over that organ of the body called skin. And that tormenting spirit that would be stealing peace and rest from people, we declare in Jesus' name, that ends tonight. That ends tonight. Father, I ask that you would restore peace, <clears throat> peace to those who have been so tormented, uh, some from uh, mental or emotional illness, uh, others just from circumstances. I declare that peace of God to invade their heart and mind, their bodies. In Jesus' name, the chronic pain, the Lyme's disease. We've had so many people healed of Lyme's disease. Just got another report this week of somebody that was healed of Lyme's disease. I just declare that testimony, that uh, legal precedent that has been set that Jesus heals Lyme's disease. I declare over you in Jesus' name, every symptom, every root of Lyme disease ends tonight <clears throat> in Jesus' name. We declare that healing word that all the different parts of the body that are so afflicted and tormented, that the peace of God would come and establish divine order over every part of our body, that we would illustrate your kindness and your goodness for how we live in health. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Jean-Luc, go ahead. Amen. <laughs> Well, we still have a few minutes, so we are going to do this way. If you are sick in your place, just put your hands on your body. Uh, we would love to touch you because the Bible says we touch, when we lay hands on the sick, the sick shall recover. Today we cannot do it, but the good news is that Jesus himself will touch you with his own hands. 
So as a point of contact, put your own hands in the place where you have pain and uh, as a point of contact between the power of God, our faith, Bill and I, we have faith that everything is possible. So as you do that, in the name of Jesus, with Bill now, we release the power of the Holy Spirit over you. We take authority over every sickness, every disease, command every pain, every inflammation to leave your body in the name of Jesus. Those who are in the hospital, be healed in the name of Jesus. Those who are in the coma, come out and become alive in the name of Jesus. I command every cancer, every, every tumor to disappear in the name of Jesus. And we ask the kingdom of heaven to invade right now your body where you are in the name of Jesus. Bill, do you still have a few words or prayers? Because I want to respect your time and I know that you need to leave in two minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good. I just, uh, what I pray is the peace of God the peace of God, the Prince of Peace, who crushes the enemy under our feet, that the peace of God would be realized by every single person watching this broadcast. Peace of God, invade your home, invade your life, and be visible and seen in healing and deliverance and all these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And one thing that is as important as our prayers, now do something that you couldn't do. If you were not able to stand up of your feet, actually there is a lady who is in the bed since 12 months. The Lord say, and I tell you in the name of Jesus, get up. Try to move and get up and start to walk. You're going to see it's working because God healed you. So all of you try to do things that you couldn't do. Check what God has done and please give him glory. Share the testimonies. You can write us. And we are going to share that to the others that others may receive their healing as well. Unfortunately, we arrive already at the end. Be sure to go to our social media or the website to find all the information tomorrow night for the French countries. We have a special monthly miracles healing service. The 13th of March, we're going to be with Michael Koulianos for miracles and healing service as well. But during the week, I have different show, so be sure not to miss that. And also to subscribe to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, to receive the free weekly inspiration. Bill, a last word full of hope and blessing for all of us. God is the God of promises. Feed yourself on promises. I tell our people, if... Uh, if you are discouraged, if you feed yourself with the mainstream media more than you do the promises of God, then your discouragement is self-inflicted. Just don't do it. Feed yourself on promises because they keep you filled with hope and they draw and uh, attract the activities of God in our life. So I encourage you with that in Jesus' name. Thanks a million, Bill. We love you so much. We miss you. Please give our greetings to Benny and your family, and especially the Bethel family. And can't wait to see you very soon. Thanks again so much. My friends, uh, tonight, if you have been blessed, I would love to encourage you to exercise your generosity. Uh, you can, of course, support IHM by becoming a monthly covenant partner or different way, but tonight uh, we really want to give a generous offering to build everything that you're going to give. Normally we separate, but tonight we want to give everything to build. So please, you can see uh, the QR code or you go to the, the website, uh, be generous uh, and that you can bless uh, uh, Bill and his ministry that we love and appreciate so much. Uh, again, Bill, thanks so much. Uh, and we are going to finish now with this wonderful song from Sina called The Name of Jesus. And still during this uh, song, some are still going to be healed. May the Lord bless you and never forget there is hope in God.
Victory. 